I guess when I was growing up in my family's bakery, there was not a weekend, there was not a day off. It was uh, seven days a week. We were down at the bakery working, uh, delivering, doing what we had to do there. When I got out to a school district, I was sitting in a dining room one morning on Monday, and I saw kids rushing out to the breakfast, and I asked a couple of them, why are you running out here? Or why are you running into the dining room? And they said, this is the first hot meal we've had since Friday. And I just turned on the light, and from there I decided I would be a hunger advocate for 24-7 every day of the year. I met David more than 25 years ago, and he and I have worked on a number of projects and programs and served on a number of committees together. And David doesn't know how to say no. He's an individual that will do anything for you uh, he especially is dedicated to making sure our children have nutritious uh, meals, that none of them are deprived of a nutritious meal. I think what makes Dave a hero my life, and I get emotional with Dave because he cares. You see him all the time on the go, go, go. He's just going to different agencies, dropping off food, doing, he cares, it's in his heart, he cares, he has the mobile pantry, the food that he drops off to different agencies, that's what makes me, a, that makes him a hero, that he's always on the go and never stops and never asks for a thank you or anything like that. that that's what a hero is, just doing because he does it from his heart. Um, he's always willing to jump in, whether it's here at the food bank or at the schools or just a community activity. Dave's going to be there with a smile and an energetic attitude, ready to serve, ready to educate, and ready to help. That's why I think he's a hero. Well, here at New Life Center, we're a domestic violence shelter. Our beginnings were very humble. Uh, we started out in an old dilapidated building offering just a handful of beds. I've been the executive director for the past 18 years, and David has been on our board for the majority of that time. Uh, today, we're a 104 bed facility, providing shelter, safety, and services to over 1,000 women annually. We provide over 30,000 bed nights of shelter, safety, and services, and that wouldn't have happened without David. His commitment to this organization, this community, is outstanding. He is uh, cooking food for our residents. He is helping our kitchen uh, organize the service in a much better way than what we could do on our own. And he's interacting with our residents. He is meeting with women and children, looking at them, talking with them, sharing with them. He really has immersed himself in this mission. Mr. Schwacke is a hero in my eyes because he cares so much about the people in his community. He is constantly thinking of how he can support them um, when it comes down to nutrition and, and just providing food in general. He, there's always something that he has an idea for. He is a champion for kids and a champion for our community in so many different ways. He's just an amazing guy. He, he is. He's a superhero. Uh, I, I can honestly say that um, Dave is my superhero. He inspires me and encourages me to go out and do things in the community and um, he is just an inspiration to everyone. Well if you've ever seen David dressed as a tomato or a carrot or a piece of broccoli so that he can better communicate the benefits of eating nutritionally to our school children, then David's not only a hero, he's a superhero. So what are vitamin what vitamin C do? It keeps you from getting what? And what's vitamin A for? It keeps you, keeps your what? Okay, any questions? I, I, I was, I guess I was just stunned. Uh, I think this award should be given to all the people that I've worked with over the years. Uh, I'm able to do it because I'm, I'm blessed to have the resources and I, I've got a wonderful administration and I've just got a lot of good friends that, that support me and encourage me and I get down sometimes because I do get tired. <laughs> Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and then someone will say, hey, this is working out great, or someone that we're giving the food to will say thank you, and I'm ready to go again. Recharges me. So uh, I just think it was uh, taught to me as my, by my parents when I was very young, and I just enjoy it. I, I have the greatest job in the world, folks. Uh, it's bar none. Uh, I have no incentive to ever retire, uh, but one of these days I will.